Not a betting person. Rishi Sunak rose back on the £1,000 Rwanda bet. Yes, this really happened. We're going to read into this more from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Reading Early here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that I'm not a betting person. Rishi Sunak rows back on the 1,000 Rwanda bet. The PM said he was taken by surprise when Piers Morgan challenged him over the likelihood of deportation flights. Guys, while you're here, well, make sure you hit the like button and share across social media so other people are notified of this video. So we've covered this essentially uh, in uh, the Snowflake Viewpoint, which I will put a link in the description if you guys have uh, seen that yet. But I kind of wanted to do it in a, in a <clears throat> I wanted to, uh, as soon as uh, the PM spoken about it after the bath, kind of wanted to put it out there that it's just, like I said on the live stream, and like I'm going to say here in this video, guys, this is so pathetic, stupid, and ignorant of the Prime Minister. And there's a possibility that he may have breached some ministerial rules as well, maybe. Um, not like that he's, he's going to get punished for it. I'm sure they'll find a way to wiggle his way out of it. But I just think <clears throat> this whole Rwanda thing, we've said it time and time again on this channel, how pathetic and, and waste of time and a waste of taxpayers' money as it is. And it's not going to stop the votes. It's not going to deter people from stopping the votes. <clears throat> and I don't know why he's got his wagons shipped on this so, so much, just because he can't be bothered to actually do his job, and that is actually govern the country. And instead, he's just more keen on, you know, pointing fingers and, and blaming problems elsewhere, him and his government. And <clears throat> there are times when I watched this interview, Piers Morgan drove me up the wall, nodding his head in agreement with things that, the, that Rishi Sunak said. And I'm just like, dude, like, he's just, he can be just as bad uh, as any other, uh, as some of the as some of the worst journalists out there, and I just think this, the fact that um, he's he was said he was taken by surprise, and I'm just like, well, you as a prime minister, you know, when you come and sit down the interviews and that, you're not always going to be told all the questions that will be coming at you. You're not going to be given everything to you. You have to you have to be prepared for anything. You know, that's kind of that's kind of the job. You know, you have to be prepared for any and all circumstances here. So he's like, oh, I couldn't believe I was offered a bet. Um, but no one told you to shake his hand, Rishi Sunak. Nobody said that you had to, to shake his hand. You didn't need to shake his hand on it. Now, I want to also make another important caveat as well with regards to this as well, which I didn't make on the live stream. He never explicitly said in the video that he would take on the bet. He did shake Piers Morgan's hand. Everyone knows that. We know he shook his hand. But he didn't explicitly say that he was going to take on the bet. So he may have found a, there may be a loophole that, that I'm sure, number 10, and he will try to use in terms of uh, getting planes taken off. But I can just see, and this is the thing that's really going to, uh, I can just see it now, guys. I can see this picture down the line of Rishi Sunak handing over like a a wallet load of thousand pound cash and putting it in Piers Morgan's hands like on TV or a picture photo of just to kind of portray this whole thing, you know, sort of thing because it will because it gets people talking and it'll just be like these are people's lives we're playing with and we're playing and we're we're take, and we're treating them like nothing more than it's like a gambling thing. Like we're betting on betting on something like this. It's just no, this is just wrong in every way, shape of the sense of the form. But he's rolling back on it now. He's the one who shook his hand in the first place. So uh, Rishi Sunak has rolled back on that £1,000 bet with the broadcaster Piers Morgan on whether deportation flights to Rwanda would take off before the general election, claiming that he is not a betting person. You literally just shook his hand. The Prime Minister said on Tuesday he had been taken by surprise when Morgan had said to him during a, during a talk TV interview, I'll bet you £1,000 to a refugee charity. You don't get anybody on those planes before the election. Will you take that bet? Shunak took hands with Morgan on the wager, saying he was working incredibly hard to get people on the planes. The government's attempts to send people arriving through the UK through irregular means to Rwanda for their claims to have been, to been processed has been blocked by the Supreme Court, which ruled that the policy unlawful in November. Sunak has said that he can salvage the scheme. 
However, when asked about the bet in an interview on BBC Radio 5 Live on Tuesday, Sunak said, I'm not a betting person and I was taken totally by surprise in that interview. The point I was trying to get across and I was taken totally by surprise, which is actually about the one policy and about tackling illegal migration, which is something I deeply care about. Okay, you would take, yes, well, you know, Boris Johnson was ambushed by a cake apparently, you know, but, you know, you know, you got you got to be prepared for anything these days, haven't you? I mean, <laughs> so, like like I said at the start, guys, you know, as a, uh, you know, you are the leader of, of a one of the biggest, one of the most, one of the biggest nations in the world, like uh, one of the biggest well-known nations in the world, one of the biggest economies in the world. Like, Jesus Christ, like, come on. And this thing, thing about him tackling illegal migration, he still is not dealing with it. He's still not dealing with it. And I know plenty of people are, are furious about this and turning to reform because the Conservatives are not are not taking that, are not doing enough on it. Obviously, people have strong views on this, and I was just underlining my absolute commitment to this policy, my desire to get it through Parliament up and running because I believe you. I believe you need to have the deterrent. The deterrent will not stop people. We've already discussed this thousands of times, guys. I believe you have got to have a deterrent. You've got to have it somewhere and you can send people so that they come here legally you won't be able to stay. Opposition parties criticised the next decision to agree to the bet with Morgan. The shadow paymaster general Jonathan Ashworth said, not a lot of people... Not a lot of people facing rising mortgages, bills, food prices are casually dropping £1,000 bets. It just shows that Rishi Sunak is totally out of touch with working people. The Scottish National Party reported Sunak to the Independent Advisory on Ministry Interests, Lauren Magnus, claiming that the bet could be a breach of the ministerial code. The SNP, Kirsty Blackman, said it is shameful and grotesque that Rishi Sunak, one of the richest men in the UK, is betting money on whether he can ship vulnerable refugees abroad for a time, in time for an election. Asked if he understood the financial pressures facing ordinary households, given that he had made a £1,000 bet on a whim, Sunak said, When it comes to the cost of living, when I've got this job set out, the five priorities, the first of them was to half inflation because I've absolutely understood that the cost of living was the most pressing problem that most families need. Yeah, but you won't put money in the bloody hands of the people who actually need it. <clears throat> Asked if he shook that, if it shook him that poor families were reportedly having to water down baby formula, the Prime Minister replied, Of course, I'm sad to hear that people are in that situation. He said it was difficult to comment on individual cases were put to him and committed to sitting down with people who were involved if he was written to. It's just such so insulting. I'm, I'm glad that those, those kind of questions were put to him, uh, but I still think he, he just doesn't care, guys. He really doesn't. Um, and he will just try to laugh it off. Ha, 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 it's just a funny, just a jokey little bet. Nothing really serious, you know, sort of thing. But it's not about it's not about the bet. It's about the perception, the perception, and the shows the kind of person that he truly is. Um, and we know what kind of person he truly is because he has shown it. The he is a billionaire. He's a rich person. He has no idea what it is like for middle and low income people, for those who are struggling right now to survive, to survive in England. We're not even talking about some of the nations that are around the world that are really struggling. We have people in this country who are struggling to make ends meet, who are struggling to make it every single day, who are struggling and counting every single penny of how they're going to be able to pay for their next bill, struggling of how they're going to be able to pay for their next food shopping, struggling every single day, surviving, some of them working six, seven days a week, yeah, just to pay off their bills. And have no savings, no money left over. Some of them not even eating anywhere near enough nutrition just to keep their feet, their children fed. Just so they have enough nutrition in them so they can go to school and try to get some kind of education. And this guy here, and while all that's going on, this piece of crap right here, so-called Prime Minister, is placing a bet on one of the deportation flights. And you want to vote for him? You want to vote for this party? So what do you guys honestly think? What do you make of this bet, this atrocity? Let me know what you guys honestly think in the comments section down below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button and share this across social media so other people are aware of this video. And hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified of when I upload another video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. 
And also, if you want to financially support me in the work I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p, or joining me on Patreon or Rumble for exclusive content. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.